If you're into fish keeping, it's okay to be baffled by the term, TDS or total dissolved solids. TDS is the measurement of, all the inorganic and organic substances, dissolved in water. This includes, minerals, salts, metals, and even some organic compounds. It's measured in parts per million, or ppm. So why is TDS important in fish keeping? High TDS levels are generally considered poor water quality, which can harm fish and other aquatic creatures. High TDS can also cause cloudiness in the water, making it look dirty and unappealing. But it's more important to know the cause of TDS. TDS due to pollutants and contaminants are obviously harmful. TDS due to essential salts and minerals are usually not bad. Why can't fishes live in distilled water or in water with no TDS at all? Well, the disturbing fact is that in found of clean tank water, we filter out many essential minerals from water, which has adverse effects on aquatic life. Fish and other aquatic life require minerals, for their health and immunity, and salts are necessary electrolytes, to maintain their activity levels. This is particularly crucial, when the TDS level is reduced below, say 60 to 70 parts per million. To keep your fish healthy, and looking good, it is recommended to add, minerals, and salts to your aquarium's water, which can be done using, standard products like, O's Polish H2O. As these essentials dissolve into the water, the TDS levels are expected to rise. But don't worry, this is good, for your water plants and fish. Just don't overdose it into your tank. O's Polish H2O contains essential minerals that are vital for the health and immunity of fish, while its salts serve as electrolytes to maintain their activity levels. This water conditioner is especially beneficial for aquariums that use tap or underground water, since it helps dissolve any excess calcium and magnesium. Since calcium and magnesium are alkaline elements, O's Polish H2O can effectively soften the water in your tank. Since adding any substance to water, can raise the total dissolved solids, that is, TDS level, O's Polish H2O, which contains powerful salts and minerals, can also cause an increase in TDS. This goes against the common, but false belief, that all soft water has a low TDS, or that a high TDS is always undesirable. Having plants in your tank, is best with soft water. O's Polish H2O also encourages the growth of beneficial bacteria, which was covered in the last video. So how do you know if your TDS levels are too high? Well, that's where a TDS meter comes in handy. By regularly monitoring TDS levels, you can ensure that your aquarium is healthy and that your fish are thriving. In conclusion, TDS is an important topic in the fishkeeping hobby and profession. As a common notion, high TDS indicates poor water quality, but it is not necessarily always bad. By understanding its advantages and disadvantages, you can ensure that your aquarium is healthy and your plants and wet pets in it are happy. Hello there. We would like to thank you for watching if you have made it this far in the video. We value your time and are grateful that you have chosen to spend it with us. We sincerely hope you found the advice and tricks we provided in this video to be useful. We're continuously working to create fresh, interesting stuff at Aquatic Habitat that we hope you'll enjoy. Hence, if you haven't done so already, please think about joining our channel. You'll save time by subscribing to us and so not having to search for our most recent videos. Moreover, if there is a subject you'd like us to explore or if you have any ideas for future videos, please let us know in the comments.
We read each and every one, and we're always on the lookout. I suggest you also check our blogs at https colon slash slash iconaquarium.com slash involve. Enough for now, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.